What's going on, golf addicts? Welcome to another edition of Junkies Court, starring Judge Lisa Ann. She's going to be judging between me and Pat, my client versus Pat's client. The clients will remain unnamed until the end. You'll probably start to figure it out, but we've both picked a couple of guys who we think could legitimately win the Masters at odds of 25 to 1, 30 to 1 or longer, and might be good DFS plays, probably good for a top 20 bet. And we're making our case to Judge Lisa Ann, and we're going to cross-examine each other. And I'm going to poke holes in his case, and he's going to poke holes in my case. We're going to let, ultimately, Judge Lisa Ann decide where you should spend your money. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. She did this for us for the Players' Championship. She's tremendous. She's going to keep coming back if you guys keep liking the video. So if you like it, hit the like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Drop a comment. Who do you think she should have ruled in favor of? Do you agree with her decision? Do you not? And uh, like I said... This, this whole thing is going to, it's designed to help you make money, have a good time doing it. Speaking of making money, check out the Discord. If you've not joined our Discord, the Tour Junkies Discord, you've got to check it out. We have a free version. But we've also got the paid version. The free version, yeah, it lets you see a little bit, but doesn't really let you see all the goods. All the goods is one of the best golf betting, DFS, gambling communities you can find anywhere. People winning so much money on DFS, on betting, on props. We do it all. We cover it all. The community is fantastic. Over 1,000 people in there and over 500 paying the premium version of it every month for just $19.99 a month or $199 a year. It's the best time of the year to get into it. We got all four majors coming. It's going to be a great golf season. We continue to print money in the Tour Junkies Discord, and the community is second to none. It's not just about me and Pat and the live chats with us every week or or the, the, the intel that we provide every week from our boots on the ground at every PGA Tour event or the time-saving research we do for you, and we put it all in the Discord so you don't have to comb through all the content. It's not just about that. It's about a sharp group of members who share ideas and help each other out and want to win together. So check out the Discord. The link is in the description. For now, we're going to enter the courtroom. All rise for Judge Lisa Ann. You are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Judith Scheindlin. The people are real. The cases are real. The rulings are final. This is Judge Judy. We are here today to debate the best betting for this upcoming Masters. Today we're going to hear the case and we're going to hear it on both sides and we're going to deliberate for a bit and I am going to go and make a final decision. There could be some closing arguments, of course, like any other court case, but as for right now, here we are. Who is going first? Uh, Judge Lee Sand, I would like I would like to go first if that's okay. That is perfectly okay. fine. Thank and, you. But you know, that is how it went last time. Do you feel this is fair? I will allow it, Judge. Thank you. Okay. Uh, listen, it's just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. It's, you know, I, I, I don't want to sit on this any longer. I've been excited to present this case to you, to, to present my client to you. And I, I want you to, I want you to do something, Judge, Judge Lisa Ann, if you will humor me here. Like, let's, let's close our eyes, okay? And let's picture a Masters champion. Masters, right? The most prestigious event in, in all of golf, right? Close your eyes and you think about, you think about a family man, you think about an honest, upstanding person of integrity that, uh, you know, that will carry the game so far and be a great, a great member at Augusta National, rock that green jacket for decades to come, right? So that's first of all what you think. You think experience at Augusta National. Experience matters. We see that you know, at Augusta, course history matters almost more than, than anything. You can, you can find a guy who's in terrible form leading up to the Masters, and then all of a sudden, bang, he shows up at a place where he's got a good record, and he does something great. Um, we've seen older champions, right, even though the game is primarily dominated by youth. And, and not that my guy, is, my client, is, is old. He's actually, he's only 33 years old. But in, in today's modern golf world, Judge, Judge L.A., you know that that's, that's kind of getting long in the tooth, but his experience at Augusta has been tremendous. This will be his sixth appearance. I want to talk about his Masters record first. This will be his sixth appearance um, at Augusta National, and he has never missed a cut. He has uh, he's done fantastic. He's finished tenth, fifth, thirty eighth, tenth, and thirty fifth. So two two top tens, a top five, worst finish, a t thirty eight. Never missed a cut. It's very difficult to do. Even if you look at the top players in the world, that stands out. He's very comfortable at Augusta National. He's got a low round of 64. He's fired a 64 on this par 72 golf course before. I, I would argue that my, my, my client uh, has probably fired a much lower round at Augusta National than, than Pat's client. 
He's also his worst round at Augusta is only a 75. That's only th- that's only three over. Do you know th- that's incredible? There are greats of the game that have played at, at Augusta National and had tough rounds of a 78, 77. It can get you. So my client's floor really high, ceiling really high. It's a great combination, right? At Augusta National, he's a five-time PGA Tour winner, and he's won three times since July of 2022. Three times he's been a victor since July of 2022. Major championship record? Tremendous. Nine top tens in majors. That will be something that my client, or my, my, the client of my, my opposition here, Pat, will not have. Nine top tens in majors. He shows oh, up. Hmm. Le- leading the judge a little bit. Leading he, the show- judge. he shows up when it counts, okay? Now, from a stat perspective, he checks every box. I could bore you with all the stats. Okay, off the tee, one of the longest on tour. Okay, top 10 in distance. Distance matters a lot at Augusta. Approach, one of the top in the field. One of the top on tour. Around the green, scrambling, being able to get up and down, get yourself up out of trouble. Checks that box. Incredible at it. Nobody talks about it because he's so good from tee to green. Putting, does that well too. In fact, he's putted really well at Augusta. In his, uh, in his last eight rounds at Augusta, he's gained strokes putting in six of those last eight. Now, I think those last eight count more because in 2022 and 2021, we saw a closer golf course to what we're going to see this year. 2020 was played in November, right? Golf course played very, very different. Very different. I would almost throw 2020 out the window. Um, so great putter. But here's the key. The most important predictive stat, I would argue, at Augusta National for success is long irons and mid irons. Having your, having your mid irons, your long irons from 175 to 225 dialed. You got to score on the par fives. You got long par fours out here. You need somebody whose long iron play, mid iron play is elite. That is what my player has done. And that's whether you look in the last, I don't know, 100 rounds, 50 rounds, 24 rounds. So long-term and short-term form with his long irons, there are very few players in this field that are better than my client. Okay? Finally, he checks this box. Strokes gained, home life. Okay? Mm -hmm. A lot of what we don't know about some of these golfers is how's it at home? How's things going at home? Is the wife okay? Are the kids driving you nuts? Are you stressed? Did you, you know, are you Kevin Kisner and your wife made you stop dipping and now you're screwed up? Like, is all this stuff, ha- we, we don't know. But with this guy, phew, he's clean as a whistle, first of all. No, no issues. No, nothing going on behind the scenes. No tiger drama, you know. He's not, you know, lock, taking his girl to the airport and then like leaving her there or whatever, whatever tiger just did. Great relationship with the wife. He was recently on Netflix, whole, whole episode dedica- dedicated to him. And boy, if it didn't warm the hearts of every American that, that, that watched it, hmm. everything is clicking at home. Hey, I'm not worried about my guy. I'm not worried about his mental stuff. I'm not worried about any of that. Loving family, home life is that box is that box is checked. And the home life of a master's champion, if you ask me, like just the picture perfect master's champion. So I feel quite confident that at 30 to 1, currently at 30 to 1 on FanDuel would be the best number that you could find my client 25 to 1 and 22 to 1 on a couple of other major books. But 30 to 1 on FanDuel is a heck of a bargain. 8900 on DraftKings is a steal as well. I think I think you're going to enjoy. I think you're going to enjoy the uh, Sunday late Sunday back, you know, back nine at Augusta with my client into. Thank you. Uh, that was your closing argument was uh, the odds. Okay, great. Pat, I saw you squirming a bit. Uh, really looking forward to your rebuttal. I could see there were moments where you were thinking this is dragging on a little bit. Some of this could just be, you know, yeah. shenanigans. So, here we go. You are up and I cannot wait to hear about your player that you were standing up for in court today. Well, thank you, Judge. And, you know, I, first off, let me just say, as usual, you're looking lovely and stunning, just as usual. And, you know, I respect my colleague, Mr. David Barnett over there, uh, but a lot of what he provides is, is a lot of fluff, okay? That's what I like to call it, just a lot of fluff. It's a lot of smoke and mirrors out there, okay? So but let's talk about my player a little bit, okay? Now, listen, this gentleman, all right, is a little bit younger. He's a little bit younger. Um, he's a fantastic player. He plays a lot, okay? He plays 
all the time, literally almost every single week on tour. But he's had a little bit of a break since the players where he finished in the top 10, which is the last big tournament that he played in. And you know what? Let's just talk, get right into the stats with this player, okay? Now, several things that I think you got to do at Augusta National. Obviously, you got to scramble well. These are very slopey greens, okay? They're tough to putt on. We'll get to putting in a little bit here, but you got to scramble well. He is in the top 20 in the field in scrambling. Another one, off the tee. David mentioned that. You got to be good off the tee at Augusta National. He is 12th in the field there. He is fan. Fantastic in par five scoring. Look, you got four par four, four, four par fives at Augusta National. Okay. All of them you can score on. He is fourth in the field in par five scoring. He's also top 25 in putting on bent grass greens. All right. They don't see bent grass greens every week of the year. Okay. You got to be good on bent grass greens. It's a different kind of grass. It's very quick, but it runs very true. So I love his putting stats on bent grass. But let's also talk about his form. Other than the Players' Championship, he also has three top tens in his last six events. Now, my favorite, course history. David knows I'm a big course history fan, okay? So you got to have course history at Augusta National. This gentleman has played only three times. He's finished in the top ten two of the three times. He was second in 2020. Okay, now, hmm. I'll say this because I, I know what my colleague is thinking. The 2020 Masters was in November. It was a little bit different because of COVID, but he did finish second there, so that's something. But then last year, he finished eighth, okay? Now, missed the cut the year before that. We can we can let that slide just a little bit, all right? But listen, this player is 36-1, to 1, and you know what? He has a great home life, okay? Now, he doesn't have all these kids and stuff that are just, you know, distracting him. He's a stone-cold killer. He wants to go out and win majors and win golf tournaments. That's what he wants to do. The player that DB is talking about, you know what? I just don't know. I don't know if he has that killer mentality, okay? Now, he is a winner on tour just like my player is. But, um, I, you know, here's another thing. My last thing I'll say. This will be actually my closing argument. David's player has – Not your birthday, is it? Is it your no, birthday? Yeah, I, okay. I, I was going to get there. Yeah, I don't have two birthdays, so I can't do that. So, are we celebrating a half birthday now? Too? A half birthday or, or well, the next month birthday, like 11 month birthday? We, we aren't. We aren't there. No, not yet. But listen, David's player has a propensity for injuries, okay, Ooh. at Augusta National, okay? You may, you may recall this player in 2018 rolled his ankle, okay, oh. rolled his ankle during oh. an event the week at Augusta National. So, listen, we don't know. That could happen again. That could happen again to this player, and then all of a sudden, poof, your bet goes away. Okay? So, that's just something just something I'd like to add. But this player that I have is 36 to 1. Great value this week. I've seen him as short as 30 to 1 on other books. Uh, questions for both of you. First and foremost, Pat. Now, your player has played at Augusta three times, okay, mm -hmm. and has finished in the top 10 all in those three times. Am I correct? Well, he missed a cut once. So, yes, he has two top 10s and one missed cut. Okay. Though your player, DB, has made the cut every time, this range of 10, 5, 38, 10, 35 is a little bit all over the charts. Are you expecting a closer to a 5 since the last one was a 35 in the placement? Uh, well, I mean, I think some of that is just the variance of golf, right? Um, so, no, I mean, I, I think it speaks to the consistency. I think when I talked about how he's shot a 64 at this course before, which not many have done, and his worst score is only a 75, which also not many have done that have played, you know, five times at Augusta National, I think it shows that his his floor is very high. Whereas I, I do think, you know, Pat's client, the floor is more of a trunk-slamming, miscut, see on mm. Friday night situation. But again, Pat's player has had more rest and recovery and time to prepare. Whereas I feel if I'm guessing properly from your player, DB, he's been on the circuit uh, nonstop. No, this I would say no. I would say that is not the case. I, I believe okay. Pat's client plays far more. I mean, he's 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 borderline. We're, we're, we're wondering if he's a cyborg or if uh, Elon Musk has done something to the guy. He just mm. he doesn't stop playing golf. Um, but even though my guy plays less golf, 
you know, Pat talked about how he didn't know if, if my client was a, a, you know, was a stone cold killer. I mean, uh, my, my client won has won more golf tournaments since July than his client has won his entire PGA tour career. So I would say mm-hmm. my guy is definitely a, a stone cold killer when he needs to be. Well then David, uh, your closing argument was strong. I am going to take your player for this case. Can you, can you tell us who your player is? Yes. My pl- I didn't even have to bring, I had some more evidence to bring you. I didn't even have to hit it. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, Judge Lisa and my player is none other than the lovable Tony Finau. Uh, I, I am just excited about Tony Finau's play. You know, Pat talked about his injury. My Lord. I mean, that was like four years ago. Okay. He's a total athlete. He sprained his ankle in the par three, popped it back into place himself on the course and then finished 10th. <laughs> Like what? Do you know what that, happened? You know Pat- what? That does that shows some tenacity. Yes. That definitely yeah. shows some tenacity there. But Pat, could you let us know who you are fighting for in today's court case? My player is Sung J M at thirty six to one, who I think is a very sneaky play this week. I love the value that you get with Sung J M. So yeah, he's not as exciting as Tony Fee now, you know, but he's a great player, very consistent in almost every tournament he plays in. So, but look. I, I, I certainly understand and respect the decision of the judge, and I will uh, I will uh, allow this uh, Tony Finau bet. And, you know, I feel, you know, the Masters is very unique. It's like playing in the Super Bowl, and though teams can get there, younger players seem to panic with that big of a stage. This is the biggest stage that P- the PGA has to offer, right? So I do believe a little bit more experience and a little bit more of understanding this course. That's the only reason. Your player – as well over here, great movement, right? And, and the future is there, but this is a routine that has now been set and has definitely made the cut every single time at the Masters, Augusta. So uh, let's see who wins this out in the end. Thank you so much, Judge Judge Lisa Ann. We, we appreciate it. We'll see you again, hopefully soon.